Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I just want to take you along for the process. I have something in mind, but uh, don't know where this is going today. Um, I think we'll do a little... I'll um, spray a little bit on the backgrounds with my Delusions spray inks and let's see how this goes. something back on the other side and that one don't want to spray Let's see if we can add Try to coordinate some of my uh, stencils by putting them in a folder that I'd gotten from uh, Dollar Tree. Sometimes I don't know if that works. be doing upright sort of give it that medieval feel I think that's what we're going for Normally, I don't mop these up, but since I'm trying to do this little video, I appreciate you guys watching. And for those who have not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And we'll go ahead and uh, start cutting out. Um, see, I found this in the, um, magazine. Just like a little medieval. I think it fits just right on that. I think I'll come back. I'll dry this off, come right back, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here we are back. And I was wanting to do something with this little medieval palm bottle. And let's see. I think I was wanting to alter it a little bit. Let's see if my pen's right.
These are my, my white jelly roll pins. We'll make it the bomb instead of the palm. I don't know. I thought we would try to do something. Still a little damp there, but I guess I should have grabbed. Let's see if I can grab a sheet of paper. I might even try to move to my dining table when I try to do videos. Let me show you another. Um, I just started this journal. And here's one. Uh, it's half done. This is a new journal I got. And um, I've been working in it about four or five days. This was uh, a lady holding a perfume bottle, and I said, why, why even try to cut her hand off of it? I'll just leave her hand on. And uh, with the Delusions collage sheets. And I'm kind of reverting back to Dina Wakely. And I guess you can see what I've done. I've done this all over the whole page and didn't know what to do with it. And I thought I'd put my stencils on that I had uh, hand done. And these here were like uh, out of a magazine. I just traced them. Uh, I mean, cut them out. Put them in um, uh, my... Put them in my laminator and laminated them and um and then you know traced them out and cut them out and let's see and here's the eyeball that was half that picture i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet i'm still it's a work in progress and then um as usual I um, go ahead and I cut this big old folder out because it does me no good with the flap on it and up here and I like to put um, anytime I can make some tags and let's see if I have some tags I think I showed you all tags last time that I had you know I cut them cut them down to this size right here and I put Art Journal, November, December, 2021. And I like it better. I can just throw some tags in there and I'll, I'll laminate my tags. These are some that come out of the other one. But I'll, I'll put a few in each one of them. But anyway... I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this lady's face. But, I don't know. I like the graphics of this right here. And I sort of want to incorporate it in her face. Don't know if it'll work. But I sort of want to incorporate it in her face. Cut out some of her face with this in the background to see if uh, that would play along in that medieval vibe thing I had going on. And I don't know if any of this will work, but I figured I would take you all along for the ride. Let's 
and we'll see together if it works or not works. Had some letters over here. I wanted to cut out. I had a plan for this page, and let's just see how it goes. have to take some off of this up here to put with this other matches. I think I'll glue that together. I tell nobody that we pieced that together. Shoot, I made it short on the other side. We'll get there. Like I said, it's a trial process.
like I said, I don't know if this will work. I think we need to shape her face back. Supposed to be two feet right here, but I don't know. I had found this in um, the Variety magazine. Like I said, it's big. It's a big magazine. And I thought about if I could um, maybe cut these letters out. I always try to see if I can't uh, make another word, and I thought I would put feisty, F-I-E-S-T, and I'll make a Y. So, anyway, let's get cutting on that.
I don't even know how I'm going to put it on the page yet, but... I hope my spelling is right. Okay, and here's what I was going to do for the Y. I got two ways I can do this. Why I can use that, which is backwards, or I can use part of the F. Uh, I guess I can use that part of the F. I think I'll leave that middle on the E. Okay, let's bring our book back. Why I came apart. So we'll go ahead and glue this down. I don't 
think I'm feeling the vibe of her face at all. I have to see how it goes. I think I'll just put it across her forehead because I'm not digging the way her forehead looks either. Now I can't find my S. <laughs> Hang on while I look for my S. Okay, I'm back. And um, my S had fell in the floor. And while I was looking for the S, I looked up feisty. And it was totally wrong. I thought it was I before E, and uh, that was wrong. And I think, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. like this plaid pie that I found. Good thing I had to stop and look up that word. That wouldn't have went over too well. Um, so yeah, I thought about cutting these horses out. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay, here we are back, guys. I took my picture up. Wasn't satisfied with it. And I replaced it with this one. And I'm debating on whether to leave all of that. I thought about putting this there. But then... I found this and I want to add more interest and I thought I would cut this up like bricks and we'll just see where that goes I have cut some holes out in this where we'll just see how this goes I don't know, I just need some more visual interest. But this is usually how, how it goes. I play around with it and stop, play around with it.
I don't know. I just need some more interest. I don't think that's going to work unless I round off all the bricks. I think it might work, but it'll it'll take me some time. So uh, I'll be back after I cut those. Okay, I'm thinking I might try to put these up here. Maybe cover all this up. I don't even think I want to cover it up completely. on the letters we're going to be covering that up too I kind of think I like this over here on this side still I need some visual interest down this side. Still think I need some more bricks on this side. Okay, so I put the bricks down. 
and the way I spaced them look like stair steps, and I'm not satisfied with that either. So, I'm going to kind of put some paint on the page and change it up a little bit. And I've been using this um, Dilutions, but I'm going to use this uh, polished jade. And I'm just going to get a foam brush. And I'm going to tap the end of it. Let me put a clippy in this end over here. I'm just going to tap the brush in here. Let's see how that does. I don't know about going all over everywhere. It looks like overkill. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that. I got a little bit left over. Move this out the way. I just want to stick some down on one of these other pages. Not to waste it. Yeah, I know it's not going to be on the, the top, but Sometimes you can put watercolor down and it'll still show through. Okay. I need to let that dry and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, here we are back. And I went through and uh, used my brick stencil and went back over it with gold and black. I just wanted to rough it up a little bit, but um, there was something else I was going to try since I put this... Um, photo back on and it had blue on it and the other day I was doing that and it was making my photos look like uh, I was trying to wipe them off with a baby wipe and it was making them look aged and I thought I'd go ahead and do that and just see how that looks Put 
bit of paper towel underneath it. And I'll have to let that dry. I'm telling you, these baby wipes work really good on getting the uh, paint off your hands as well. To me, it seems like it comes off better with a baby wipe than it does using regular soap. Anyway. But I think on the photo I had the other day, it was coming off a little bit better. It was leaving like white spots. And it, it was kind of looking aged. But this one here, it looks it looks a little aged, but not um, it's not showing the white marks like it was on the other photo. And probably as um, the other day, I'll have to um, glue these letters on since it comes from that variety magazine, which these are really thick. I'll have to, uh, I've been using my hot glue gun uh, to anything that comes from the variety magazine. I've been using my hot glue gun because it, it's just going to pop off because they're too, um, this is not even kind of like paper. It's kind of like it has a uh, texture to it. And it's not going to bond to the glue and to the acrylic paint. So uh, I'll have to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and there you have it. And um, I'm trying to get it centered on camera. And I put the little pie shape down and this little horse figure and this little from the um, collage sheets, Dilution collage sheets. And I put another one over here, added an arm. And I'm trying to figure out if I need to add anything to the top of the letters. But uh, other than that, um, I like pretty much how it turned out. And... Um, as always, um, thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.